To show off the camera settings, I'm going to keep my scene real simple, and just bring in two objects to make my scene. When going to create my final image, the first things I consider are my camera field of view and the framing of my shot. Now the camera field of view will change how narrow or wide the field of view of the camera is. This has some interesting effects. Here you can see the effect going from wide to narrow and back. At its narrowest, it looks like a zoom lens on a camera. At its widest, like a wide angle or fisheye lens. Once I have my framing, I'll select my sky and use the sky rotation to put it into place. After that, I'll use direction and height to move my sun in, and I'll adjust the temperature to match what I think is appropriate for the scene. Because I went with the orange sky, I'm going to go for warmer tones here. I can bring up my sun shafts, and using the two arrows to the left, dial in the color that I want. I'm going to go ahead and try and match the sky as best I can. A lot of times I find it easier to isolate what we're working with, so I'll turn down another setting like ambient light so that I can focus on the sun shafts. Next, I'll use my slider to bring up the lens flare, and then the circular arrows to choose the one I want. The sun's looking a little big for my scene, so I'm going to select it, scale it down, and hide it a little more behind the mountains. I'll use sky brightness to adjust the sky, and ambient light to adjust how much contrast I want in the shadows. In another tutorial, I go into the details of the fog settings. In this instance, I'm using the distance fog set all the way to black to create shadows on the distant peaks. Then I'm using ground fog and volumetric fog, trying to match the colors to the scene. Exposure, white balance, and saturation affect the overall brightness and the color of your scene. White balance will skew your scene warmer or cooler in tone, and saturation will either increase color saturation or desaturate it to a black and white image. Notice that some settings are not affected by saturation. The next setting adjusts how much a vignette or dark rounded border is applied to your image. The next two settings are Bloom and Bloom Threshold. Bloom adjusts how strong the bloom effect is applied, and Bloom Threshold will set how bright objects need to be before the bloom is applied to them. At the end we have Aperture and our Focus Distance. Focal Distance sets how far from the camera the main point of focus is. Aperture adjust the depth of field. It will adjust how narrow or how wide that focus is applied, either from your whole image or to a narrow strip. If autofocus is turned on, the focal distance slider is ignored. In this image, I'm going to leave everything in focus. And lastly, all you have to do is take your picture. 